Here we are with Summertime Rendering episode 16. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Intro immediately. So yeah, I'm very curious to see where everything is going. I, I checked yesterday. So right now they had the evening of the 22nd, I think. And the summer festival is on the 24th. So that means it's pretty much two more days before it's over, basically, before shit goes down, right? The inevitable end. And <clears throat> if he has only one more loop left, that means he has to survive for two more days or beat all the shadows before that, right? So will be very interesting if he has only one more loop left to see where it's going, how it turns out. With so many episodes left, I checked also how many episodes this anime ha is supposed to have, and it will. It's supposed to have 25 episodes, so. Yeah. <clears throat> That's quite a lot, right? There's quite a lot of episodes left, and he has only one loop left, apparently. If nothing changes, and yeah. Two more days to survive, basically. <clears throat> <coughs> So yeah, it will be very interesting to see where it is going. Okay, they already break the bond. That's a wake. Okay. Within a week. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> but it's Mio. Boy, it's like paradise right now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder what his goal is.
All right, let's go. Uh. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess maybe that's just because they don't talk like that in Tokyo. Because I love you. <laughs> Dude, she spills all the beans. <laughs> and Mio's like, don't say it. Is this maybe what Ushio also wants, that Shinpei and Mio get together? In terms of protector? Because technically Ushio is like gone, right? So they erased it all. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, does she know something? <clears throat> Man, Ushio with short hair looks kind of weird. <laughs> Did maybe the dad got attacked, maybe? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they want to feed it to Heine, right? Oh, this was the wheelchair where the mother was in, right? <clears throat> Looked like a shadow. Or maybe... It was just a shadowy figure, so that you can't see who it is. Hidden door. Wow. Oh, 
Or did they already took it and bring it to Heine? <clears throat> I mean, that is the thing, right? Now she said, do you want to retry? But with this retry, he maybe could change something, right? But if he couldn't, then it's a waste. Is this a mother? Look like a kimono. Is this a dad, maybe? That's so handy. <clears throat> I wonder if the shadow can't do anything while she takes them over so that they are like defenseless against it once she can do it, once she gets close enough. <clears throat> Oh. <clears throat> okay, let's see it. Do we get answers? What's his plan? That's not my mother. <laughs> Kill them. Okay. I thought he might he meant kill the shadows, not our guys here. Idiot! Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Dude! That was... That was good. Dude, that was good. Which is interesting because he Shinpei said she should protect Mio. And she is not here with Mio, so she can't protect her right now. So I didn't thought about this possibility. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dude, what is up with them? I also didn't thought that they could just copy a person. Oh, his shadow already died. What? <clears throat> Did he want to become a shadow? To live as a shadow with the mother? Was this his plan? Or he shot her, I guess. Or oh, out of reach. Oh. Dude, he's thinking he's not going after like some other main characters, right? Good thinking. I like it. Man, I like it. <laughs> I mean, hmm. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. What? But if you don't stop hiding it, then she kills everyone else. <laughs> Because otherwise she will never, never stop, right? Yeah, I mean it's and it's just how it has to be, right? Unless they find some way how they can keep some shadows. I mean maybe if they can sever the connection they can maybe somehow still live when Heine is dead.
but you can't become a shadow anymore. So, wop wop wah. Give it to him straight. Slap him. The children that he wanted to, to kill. So it's not his father. Who is it? Will we see it? Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I have to say, I'm a bit surprised that they interrogate <clears throat> um, the Shadow Mio to see if she can really be trusted. Like, did they already... I mean, they cut the ties, the the bond between Heine and the Shadow Babies, right? And that was no problem. But with the Mio, they try to be extra careful to see if she actually is on their side now. <clears throat> I guess it makes sense, because the babies were just some weird baby monster, right? Shadow baby monster. And the Mio is like more a sentient being, right? That can talk, think, and all that stuff as a Shadow. Um... But I have to say, I'm not what I expected, because I thought I thought the Shadow Mio would act more like the normal Mio, but in many cases, she acted more like emotionless, right? <clears throat> um, very monotone and all that stuff, so not what I expected. And sometimes it came a bit out that she acts like the normal Mio, but only a few times. And then, yeah, the whole, like, when the dad tried to kill Tokiko, and it was actually the Shadow Mio, which caught me completely off guard. I didn't expect it that. <clears throat> I didn't thought that Shadows could copy someone and then turn to that person, then just turn back. I mean, <clears throat> we know that they, can't, that they can turn into, like, objects and stuff, like Ushio. But I think we never saw Ushio transform into a different person, right? So that caught me off guard because of that. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah. Then, like, the whole deal, deal with the father, now we know why he 
knew about the plan basically and didn't care that everyone dies, right? Because the plan was that he also becomes a shadow and then they get go to this weird other dimension world thingy with Heine, right? Where they can live forever in peace or whatever. Um But yeah, I guess they already made a copy of him at some point and killed the copy. I guess, and that's why he's immune. And I mean, it, still, even at that point, when he realized he can never go with Heine to wherever, um, even when he realized that, he still was like, kill him, kill him, and still didn't want to talk. That's interesting because, I mean, what's the point in still being on the side of the shadows and not wanting to talk and all that stuff if you have no way of going where they want to go, right? He would just die eventually. Um, so, yeah. And, I mean, also, like, really good thinking of Shinpei that he didn't went for the provocation and followed. Because, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, using the body of Ushio is good bait, right? Because... Ushio means so much to them, but at, but at this point, what would it do, right? I mean, yeah, you could save the dead body of Ushio, but at the same point, that won't revive her either, right? She is just dead and you run into a trap, so good thinking that he didn't went for the provocation. And yeah, also interesting that the mother didn't know that she was a shadow. Which I guess makes sense. But it's interesting that they can make shadows without the shadows knowing that they are shadows, basically. But I guess it makes sense because the way she acted, right? But I mean, maybe she just kept ap uh, apparent appearances, right? For Sue. So, Sue, the, bo the son. Um, when he was talking to his father to give him like five... Uh, to to, to let him talk with him, and the father was just like, yeah, I give you five minutes or whatever. And the mother had to come in to bring the dad to talk to him. Um, I mean, that could have been because she was just playing her role as a shadow, as a mother. Or, well, obviously, that now that we know that she didn't even know that she was a shadow. Um, anything else to talk about? Let me see here. Um... I think that's pretty much it. I think the only thing that is left is, obviously, yeah, Shinpei's uh, parents are dead. Not by what was thought was a death accident uh, with the boat, but killed, right? Um, but yeah, my thought that maybe Shide is maybe the dad of uh, Shinpei. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not the case. It's this weird first guy that made the clinic and was the first guardian or whatever. So that must be like many, 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 many years around uh, ago. Probably like around the time when the original Heine was still around from the looks, I would say. Having like this shrine outfit and everything. So we don't know really who it, who it is, right? It's not that, I mean, we didn't saw the face, but I think if we don't, I think if we see the face, it might not be something where we are like, oh, what a reveal, right? Unless maybe there is some really weird Tom fuckery going on where maybe the first guy that made the shrine or clinic or whatever, unless it's maybe weird Tom fuckery where the first guy looks like Shinpei or something and it's like suddenly, what the fuck is going on? Let me see, what did they say? Um, Shide is Highness Guardian and the first child she ever gave birth Two, and then they say his original name was Hishigata Shidehiko, the founder of the Hishigata Clinic, as well as the first director. Okay, not guardian director. Yeah. Um. So, I feel like that can only be really meaningful if the face reveal of that is that he looks like Shempei or something like that, right? That it's like a face you recognize and you're like. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um, otherwise, I feel like that 
doesn't do much. I thought the reveal would be more something along those lines that it might be maybe Shinpei's dad or something, something, someone we know that it would be like, oh my god, that's inside Shide, right? Um, but yeah, I guess we have to wait for a face reveal to maybe get something like that or not. But yeah, I guess that's the episode. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.